same uh, informal interviews at night. May have a few formals, uh, pretty much the same. And I'm glad I went to the scene bowl just to get a little taste of it. Having been through the process there, have you pretty much talked to almost every team there? Yeah, so at, se at the scene bowl, I had a lot of formals, so I knocked out a lot of that. And here this week, I'm only going to have three, so it was good. I you know, have a little uh, more downtime than a lot of guys. So. Now, position wise, what are they talking to you about, or what are you telling them? About? Uh, center and guard. I feel like I'm versatile to play both. Uh, I'm athletic enough. I've been, you know, playing center, so I, you know, I'm obviously a smart guy who can make calls and wouldn't have problems with that. So I can play both positions, whatever the team needs me to do. What's your comfort level here? Because there's so many LSU guys here. Yeah. Uh, what's your comfort level? Is this almost like a team meeting for you guys? Yeah, you know, we had dinner and breakfast. You know, all of us are sitting there like it's a Friday before a game. Me and Sadiq are roommates, and then right next door we got Damian Lewis and Blake Ferguson. So it's, it's like you know, the whole team's in. I've heard coaches say that centers are born, not made. What do you, what do you think about that? Born, not made? Uh, uh, it's, it's a good point. Maybe I was born to be a center. Uh, I didn't play it in high school, so I had to teach myself how to snap and you know, be, get comfortable with being a vocal guy, uh, which you know, I'm not really that vocal uh, off the field. But on the field, I mean, it's completely different. I made all the calls. I'm the main communicator, so I've gotten used to that, and I, I love it. I take pride in that. Makes that position better? You like that responsibility? Yeah, I, I feel like I've just gotten used to being, I guess, the point guard uh, on, on the field, uh, so you know, I've gotten so used to it. I, I, it's just in, in my nature now. Is this somewhat of a different competitive atmosphere? Because at the senior bowl, you're going one-on-one -on -one with people. You know, you're actually physically in game situations, and here it's more drill. Yeah, a uh, little bit, but you, know, you still have the same have that same approach. You know, it's game day, uh, so on Thursday and Friday, you got to come in with that mindset like you're going to dominate every drill. You're going to finish. So, uh, it's kind of the same, but kind of different in both both ways. So you had a lot of formal meetings at the procedure. Did you have a formal meeting with the Buccaneers? Yeah, I had one last night. Okay. Last night. You had one here with the Cotton Combine. Yes, sir. Sadiq had mentioned that you know you have kind of mentored him. I know you yeah. said you're roommates with him. He was going through his suspension. He was still in the nose issue. I mean, you know, what did you try to do to kind of help him out? Just try to keep his head up. Uh, me and Sadiq have been you know, close friends since his freshman year. Uh, I remember. You know, his freshman year when he was starting and I was still a backup, you know, we would take I would take time with him and just watch extra film on Wednesday nights every week just to get make sure he's ready to prepare. And when he was going through what he was going through, I just tried to be a, a brother to him, uh, be a guy he could look up to and let him know that everything's going to be all right. When he's out, we're going to take care of business and he's going to come back when we need him in crunch time in the playoffs. And knowing, you know, he's a young guy, he's been through a lot in his life with Katrina and everything else. I mean, how have you seen him kind of grow and mature if you have him? Yeah, uh, he's came a long way. Uh, he's definitely you know, learned from his mistakes. He's completely locked in on uh, bettering himself and providing, trying to provide for his family. And, I mean, he's, he has all the talent in the world on the field. And, you know, he's just completely locked in now, so I look forward to his journey and you know, being a guy he can look up to and talk to any time. Well, the transition to a new offense this year, just as a center, making all the calls and stuff like that, what was that transition like for you? Uh, it, was, it was a smooth transition. Uh, honestly, you know, I love the game so much. I'm, I'm a student of the game, so you know, when I when I was not at the facility, I'm, I'm watching film and teaching myself, teaching myself, you know, all the calls and you know, visualizing my assignments. So it was a smooth transition, and you know, we we started off good you know, last January, installing and in the spring. It was it was like we've been doing this all year, uh, you know, previous years. So it wasn't really a big transition. It went pretty well. Does it make it easier at all, you guys, this new offense at LSU, to you know, block or anything like that? Or was it uh, it was, I mean, it got us, got the ball out quicker. Uh, didn't have, you know, got us in better situations. So, I mean, I wouldn't say it made it easier, but, I mean, we worked hard and we executed very well. Uh, well, I mean, I, I talk to my family every day. I mean, they, they, uh, you know, keep me up, keep me motivated, uh, keep me motivated and, and focused. So my family, um, my O-line coach back at LSU, Coach Craig, he's been giving me some some tips, 
pointers. Uh, he he taught, taught me so much these past few years. He's been here, and I can't thank him enough for that. So definitely my family and uh, Coach Craig. What led you to play center? How long have you been playing center? Uh, can you what, what led you to become a center? Uh, so in high school, like I said, I played tackle. And as I was getting recruited, uh, they were telling me I was probably going to end up being a guard or center. And you know, once I signed the LSU, I, I taught myself how to snap uh, during that time from February to when I enrolled on campus. And it just kind of came naturally after I you know, taught myself. And uh, since ever since I've been at LSU, I've been center and, and guard. Is there anybody in the NFL that plays that position that you yeah, for sure. Definitely all the pretty much all the top centers, Rodney Hudson, Travis Frederick, the Pouncies, uh, Kelsey from the Eagles, so all those guys, I try to watch them as much as possible and kind of steal still things from their game to put in mind. I, I had informal with, with the Eagles, uh, met with O line coach a little bit. Toughest pass rush. Uh, I think the toughest opponent all around I played was Derek Brown. Uh, he was he's a total package, great power, speed, and get on you fast. Uh, so I would say Derek Brown and also uh, Neville Gallagher from Oklahoma, pretty good player, quick uh, edge rusher. What have you been working on since the end of the season? What have you been trying to, to improve on? Oh, my footwork. Well, first of all, getting stronger upper body. I've been uh, working on that a lot. Uh, getting more consistent with my footwork. And also continuing to work on my hand placement. Being more consistent and not waiting as much as long to, to throw my hands in the, end of the pass game. Upper body for that bench press? Yes, sir. You got a number you're looking for? Uh, you know, we'll wait and see tomorrow. We'll see. You talking about the Steelers at all? Uh, yes, sir, a little bit informal. You talked about being a point guard, a 